As Brown gets ready to take over the seat of the late Ted Kennedy, some say his victory could mean trouble for another Kennedy who's represented Rhode Island and the U.S. House of Representatives for more than two decades. Our in-depth coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly. Yes, the aftershocks are still reverberating in the aftermath of Republican Scott Brown's epic upset in the race to succeed the late Senator Ted Kennedy. And I appreciate you taking the time to come out. Um, a stunning victory last night. Republican State Representative John Laughlin meeting with supporters today who are newly re-energized by a political tsunami in neighboring Massachusetts. Yesterday's victory by little-known Republican State Senator Scott Brown in the special election to replace the liberal lion, the late Senator Ted Kennedy. Representative Laughlin is running for Congress against the late Senator's son, Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy. He and his supporters believe Scott Brown's upset win shows the Democrats are out of touch, which may force them out of office, including Congressman Kennedy. Nobody has a uh, birthright to a congressional seat. Congressional representation is about doing the work of the people in the first congressional district. What does Scott Brown's victory mean to you? I think it energizes as a base to see that the Kennedy dynasty can be taken down. Do you think Patrick Kennedy is vulnerable now? Do you think that's what Scott Brown's victory says? Yes. Why? Well, he doesn't listen. I know I've wrote many letters to him, and he just doesn't want to listen. And the people are fed up with politicians that don't want to listen to us. I believe the whole country got behind Scott Brown because they're tired of what is going on, and they wanted to make a statement. And those same people are going to be behind John Laughlin against Patrick Kennedy. For his part, Congressman Kennedy was unavailable. His spokesperson told us he's very busy, but she'd try to squeeze us in. She never said when. Reporting live, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.